Welcome on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reaper, coming at you with today's video, which is my DIY aquarium filter for the coin tank. So, let's go. So as mentioned, today's video is the DIY uh, filter for the Koi Aquarium, short and sweet. At the moment, I'll show you in a second, it is a little bit sort of clouding up in the water at the minute just because there's that much sort of uh, bacteria going into the water. Um, there's not really a lot of sort of filtration in there in regards to sort of polishing the water. And bearing in mind, a lot of these are Koi, it's starting to turn as if it was, as if it was um, a freshly set up sort of uh, pond outside. So, what I've done, Two litre bottle of Highland Springs, very sort of simple. Lid on the bottom, we screwed holes all in the bottom there. We've got a hole on the bottom here, and then we've got holes in the top there. So in essence, what happens is the airline tubing off the air pump will feed into this hole, connect it to an air stone. It'll blow bubbles up through the top and out through the top here, which again will then sort of agitate the surface water of the aquarium which is going to aid in the oxygen exchange rate that we need inside of a fish tank. What's inside of here is simply lava rock. Now you can get lava rock from your local hardware store, um, whether that's Wixies for us in the UK, uh, b and or Home Depot if you're over in the States. Uh, lava rock is something you'll find in the barbecue section, they'll put it on gas barbecues um, and it's literally exactly what it is. Uh, it's exactly what it says on the tin. Um, lava rocks, which come out of its volcanic uh, rock basically, it's formed from uh, volcanoes and whatnot. Highly porous rock, fantastic, fantastic for bacterial um, filtration in the aquarium. What I'm going to do with this one, I am going to soup it up just a little bit. So if I invert this round, where the air hose is going to attach through that hole just there above my finger, is I'm going to put some filter floss in there. Now what the filter floss is going to do, it's going to aid in polishing the water before it hits all of this filtration in here. Now, what this will also do, is it'll also give me an indication on when I need to change out the sponge that's going to be attached onto the bottom of here. Because the filter floss that's going to be in here is white. In essence, what it's going to happen is it's going to change colour, so it's going to go like a, a pooey, browny, green kind of colour. Uh, and then I know it's time to sort of pull that out, squeeze out the sponge that's going to be sat on top, um, and then just literally replace the filter floss that goes in here. Same sponge will just be in the aquarium water. Um, but again, what I'm going to do is I will give you an update uh, in about sort of three, four days' time on the coil tank, so you can sort of see how much of an effect this DIY filter has had on the tank. So let me switch around now, and I'll show you this setup in the aquarium. Okay guys, just so before I drop this in the tank, I just want to show you a little bit more of a, a close-up. So as you can see now, the air hose is poking through that hole there just in the bottom, leading on to the end of a, uh, an air brick there, seeping up through all of this sort of biological uh, lava rock, and then you've got the holes at the top just there. Now on the sponge, all that we've done is cut a little tiny hole in the middle, not going all the way through, as you can see. So that there literally just sits into the bottom. Now what that does is, as the air is being blown up through the bottle, it's actually sucking in more water through these holes here at the bottom. So this sponge will need to be changed, well I say changed, this sponge here will need to be rinsed out at least once a week, uh, along with the filter, the white filter floss that's in there at the moment. But again, the reason we use a clear bottle on this is so I can see the filter floss, uh, so I can see if it needs to be changed sort of, um, sooner rather than later. So yeah. Next shot's going to be this inside of the uh, aquarium. We'll turn it all on and uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. So there you go, guys. It's all sort of set up in the tank now. You can see all the goldfish down there. Like I say, the, uh, the water clarity isn't that bad. The video doesn't really do it that justice. I know it looks sort of super, super cloudy in here, but it's more so green uh, than it is cloudy. And it's just simply down to the fact that, like I say, these are, goldfish are very, very dirty fish. Just to show you a little bit more about the pump itself, obviously here's the, uh, the sucker pad that we've got on the side just to sort of uh, help it aid uh, in sticking to the glass. 
sponge down here at the bottom obviously left just away from the glass here at the bottom you can already see the white filter floss already the amount of gunk that it's already sort of started to pick up um, and like I say I'm confident that within sort of 12 to 24 hours this here will be sort of crystal clear and you'll be able to see all the way through which is obviously a fantastic benefit considering this is all stuff that I had to hand um, I do recommend using a sort of two litre bottle so you can get a lot of like I say bacteria and media in there this lava rocks have sort of fantastic substrate because it's sort of fully porous uh, it sort of holds all that sort of good beneficial bacteria um, but this is just one of many sort of DIY projects that we're going to be doing on this channel in sort of 2020 but I mean as you can see like I say it's hanging in the water uh, oxygen change over there as well which is great um, and just off that sort of tiny little bottle and don't forget obviously we can also turn this up as well um, to get it onto sort of full back well we can turn it down should I say so that's it on a very sort of slow and if we crank it right the way up obviously you can really sort of see it start to sort of ripple through that water there but again what we'll do is once all this is sort of cleared up we will do a um, a sort of side by side comparison in regards to with the filter floss and without the filter floss just so you guys can really sort of see the difference I mean already I don't know if the camera's picking it up but at the start of this video you couldn't sort of see the fish that were in the back corner but look, you can sort of see them coming through here now little splashes of colour at the background so already that filter floss is working and sort of kicking things through like I say you've got the sponge filter on the bottom there the sponge just hanging in again biological filtration filter floss there to polish the water now what I mean by when I say polishing is when the water sort of crystal clear clarity and there's absolutely nothing in it um, there's no bits there's no detritus there's no sort of there's nothing sort of floating around in the tank or anything like that uh, and then the lava rock again just even more sort of biological filtration there so for what we've got set up here absolutely perfect uh, for all of these fish that we've got on in here now don't get me wrong is it the prettiest absolutely not um, could we maybe wrap the bottle in black or could we use something sort of uh, could we do a sort of a DIY internal sort of uh, the boiling reef as own out of acrylic again possibly something we can uh, definitely sort of look into but this video short and sweet if this is something that you like obviously the DIY balls please go over to my Facebook and follow me on there which is at the Balding Reefer go over to my Instagram which is at the.balding.reefer obviously hit the like button on this note on this channel hit the bell notification and also hit the subscribe button as well so you can follow the journey uh, of these different filters that we're going to be trying out in the fish room uh, over the next sort of couple of weeks but other than that Balding Reefer out